Hey there YouTube, Pixar Prime 10 here, and finally, yes, finally, I am bringing you a video review of the 2015 Hess Toy Fire Truck and Ladder Rescue. I have very mixed feelings about this truck. I like it, and I don't like it. I like some things, and I don't like some things, but... Whatever, the truck's not even out yet. Let's look at the box. Now, this is very, very different from the boxes we've been having since, oh, I want to say 1994, maybe before that, maybe a little after that, roughly around that time. What I'm trying to say is we had the same type of box for 20, for about 20-ish years. Basically, we had the same type of box for a really long time, and that type of box is this box right here. As you can see, there's a very drastic difference between this box for the 2015 truck and the ones that we've been getting. This is the truck for the 50th anniversary 2014 truck. For a long time, we've been having the truck in by the Hess gas station with the gas station in the background, starry night, mountains, parked on the road with the truck sitting there with its, head, with its headlights on. We've had that for a long time. And you guys know how much I actually do love that box. I talk about it in just about every review. And then for the actual anniversary truck, we had the Hess sleeve. And on the inside, the box represented or resembled what we have here. There's no gas station. There's no star night. There's no artwork. It's simply the truck on a white background. And I got to admit, I'm not a fan of it. It doesn't look the same. It's not what I'm used to. I understand after 50 years, after the 50th anniversary truck, maybe they wanted to spice it up a little bit and change it up. And I don't know. It, it's whatever. You, you guys leave some comments down below. Tell me what you think. I'm very curious as to how you feel. But it's not even an, an actual image of the truck. It actually, if you look a little bit closer, you can see it's like a painted, really cartoon ish version of the truck and I actually really do like that I do think that looks really really nice if we put around on the top here you have Hess fire truck and ladder rescue with some fire truck font I guess with the Hess logo right there again very very simplistic even with the words down here it's even more simplistic you got blazing sirens a towering ladder rotating searchlight and LED lights uh, on the front of the box here you have of course the front of the truck painted or I guess drawn on there and of course on the back you have the back of the two trucks you have Hess 2015 and Hess 2015 with some uh, warnings and copyrights I guess down there on the bottom here you have all the features and whatnot of the truck you have the battery compartment and light switch so I guess how to replace the battery you got to pull out that little tab there when you first get the truck you have the on and off switch right there and it gives you a big paragraph of stuff there if you guys want to pause and read all that be my guest you have the sound buttons and searchlight buttons up here these are all the sounds and flashes up there on top of the truck i really do like the way this is drawn this is very cartoony and artsy i really do like the way that looks you have the ladder rescue operation for the mini vehicle right there and of course the ramp and sound feature on the truck which is really cool of course this is all stuff we'll look at on the actual truck when i get it out here so let's get the actual 2015 hash truck out here right now Okay, guys, here we have the 2015 Hess Toy Fire Truck out of the box and looking really nice. Now, the last time we got a fire truck was in 2005, so it has been exactly 10 years. So, although there has been a lot of fire trucks in the Hess lineup, it has been 10 years, and that was a not an older style fire truck, still ones that you would see today, but this is a really nice updated model. So, they did kind of break it up with a lot of a lot of time in between and the update look that they gave to it there was enough time that it was time for a fire truck and this one is really really nice before we get to the actual truck itself i do want to take a look at the small ladder rescue first Taking a look at this miniature vehicle, the, of course, now it's pretty much a staple that every other Hess truck is going to come with a smaller vehicle. In 2014, we had the uh, Space Cruiser kind of thing. 2013, we had, I think, the Tractor. 2012 was the helicopter, which had the vehicle inside of it. 2011 was the truck, which had the racer on the back, and so on, and so on, and so on. This year, it is, of course, the bigger truck is an actual fire truck, and it comes with a miniature fire truck, which is actually called the Ladder Rescue, which makes perfect sense because it doesn't have a hose or anything, but it, what it does have... It's a little ladder. Well, it does have a hose, actually, but it has a ladder for, well, you know, rescue. So the truck is really nice. It does look, I don't know how to, it's very blocky. The design is a little weird, and I'm not sure how much I actually do like it. I enjoy it. I think it looks pretty good, but I don't love it. It doesn't look very 
realistic if it's what I'm trying to say but then again a lot of Hess trucks aren't but the design is actually really nice of course the base color for this is red that is what we saw 10 years ago with the fire truck it, which is one of my favorite Hess trucks by the way that one was all red so we haven't had a fire truck that was white since I think 2000 so but that's okay I really like the white that we have going on here of course you have the chrome which is staple for all Hess trucks you have the chrome here on the front with an H there and then the Hess logo right there you have the chrome up here the chrome on top there with the Hess logo the chrome on the side the hubcaps and of course the rear bumper right there so it does look really nice taking a look at some of the finer details uh, on the side here you can see all this chrome stuff it looks really good there is a hess logo right there and it's not painted or anything it's kind of just molded in there i don't really like that it kind of just looks a little bit lazy same with this fire extinguisher right here it's not painted it's not chrome it kind of just looks bland it's a molded in detail that wasn't really brought out on the wheels here you have really nice rubber thick tires that say hess around the sides and you do have a hess h logo in there on the chrome same on the other side here you have some riveting detail going across this back part here which looks really nice on the back you have the hess 2015 license plate always one of my favorite parts about any hess truck you got the tail lights right there same stuff on this side and then of course on the door you have a hess logo there you have some chrome rear view mirrors and on the front you have the chrome bumper the chrome grill the h right there the hess logo right there the headlights and of course the chrome bits up here with the lights and whatnot really really nice all the stuff that, that you would come to expect from a miniature hess truck on the top here you do have a hess logo which looks really nice and then here on the ladder one thing that i'm gonna say right now i think would have been really cool is a little h in the circle here it just seems perfect but i guess this is kind of so you can like pick it up but i would i would just do it like that so this ladder does lock down and you can just clip it out and it does go up and down on a ratchet joint if i bring it over here you can see that it's angle of movement it can spin a full 360 degrees, and the ladder does extend one, two, three times. So you do get a fairly tall ladder here. Oh, and I actually just broke it. This happens on a lot of ladders. You just snap them back on. So you do get a fairly long ladder, but it just comes back in and rests really nicely. And then on the top here, it does have an actual really nice chrome bit which represents a hose which can go up and down it does have a hose kind of look wrapped up in there and then you got the nozzle here and then when you put this down you can either have it sitting on top there or you can fold it in so it's stored away i prefer to have it stored in but that is really cool so as much as it can also save people by you know rescuing them with the ladder it can also shoot water out the end there which is really cool so you just fold that down and throw that in there so as a whole, this vehicle is really nice, but I do have some, I guess, minor complaints about it. If you flip it around the bottom here, of course, like most Hess trucks do, you have the molded in detail on the bottom, but you also have an on and off switch. If I flip that on, as you can see, you can't really see any of the lights. You can't really see anything on here because these lights are very, very dull. And that leads me to one of my biggest complaints about this truck. Now, I when I first got it, I was like, these lights kind of suck. So I thought maybe my batteries were old. I threw them away. I got a brand new pack of batteries, popped them in. The lights were just as dull. And I got to admit, it's really, really weak. This is a really big letdown. This is a very nice truck, really nice chrome, and the ladder is really nice. I really do like this mini vehicle, but the lights are just a big letdown. Not only that, but for the past couple of years, we've had additional features for each of the mini vehicles. So the Space Cruiser last year had sounds. The 2013 tractor didn't have sounds, but it did have the moving treads. The 2012 racer had, or I'm sorry, the 2012 helicopter. The little truck, I think it had sounds, but even if it didn't, it had the pop-up siren. And then the racer, in 2011 did in fact have sounds and this thing although it does have the ladder doesn't have sounds and the sounds it doesn't really bother me i think it would have been cool if maybe you press something up here and a siren went off that would have been really nice a really nice touch but they didn't have to so i don't really i don't miss it but what is a big letdown is the lights when i actually turn off my lights later you'll see how, just how dull they are enough about this guy so let's move on to the big guy all right, guys, so here we have the 2015 Hess toy fire truck. And when I initially saw the images for this thing's original teaser picture, I wasn't totally sold on it. I didn't love it. it. To me, it was just another fire truck. And in my head, I was like, sure, it's been 10 years since we got the fire truck. But I really did like that one. So will something be able to top it? Now, personally, I don't know if this was able to top it, but it took that fire truck and kind of pretty much gave it a really nice update. And I got to admit... I really, really do like the way this truck looks, and it has grown on me a lot more, and I really, really love this thing. 
Of course, you can tell the base color is red because most fire trucks today are red. So kind of if they did make it white or green, kind of like some of the older fire trucks. Well, I don't think we ever had a green fire truck. But if they tried to make it white, it wouldn't really look too good in my opinion. So I do really like this red truck here. In case you guys were wondering if I was going to talk about it or review it, there was a sweepstakes to enter to try and win a silver plated 2015 hash truck. I entered. I don't think I won. If I did, I wasn't contacted or whatever but I don't have it, so I can't review it. But as you can see, the base color is red, and I really do like it. It's something different from every year where we have the white white base color hash trucks with the green highlights. This is base red with some green and white thrown in there, and of course you have the really nice chrome bitch. You have the chrome bumper here, which is really nice, the grill with the H up there with the Hess logo. Sometimes they have a big H or a Hess logo on the grill. I prefer this, this looks really nice. You have these chrome tanks in the side here. You have the chrome steps leading up to the door, chrome smokestack right there, of course some more steps here, some stuff on the side. You have the chrome hubcaps, chrome bumper with the 2015 Hess plate. Uh, on the back here, on the bed where the truck rests, it says Hess going down. That looks really nice. I really, really like that whenever they big do a nice big bold Hess. You have the chrome railings there. On the top, you have these chrome hoses, I guess you could call them, which look really, really nice. And of course, all the same stuff on the other side. So this thing is, it's totally awesome. The tires are big. It does have kind of a bounce to it not as much as older trucks i told you i really loved 2005 which was another fire truck and this just kind of ups it a little bit it doesn't have the back box kind of look which i really did dig about it that's what i loved about it it kind of has this open bed so it's kind of an odd fire truck and to my knowledge i'm pretty sure this is the first ever fire truck that doesn't actually have a ladder on it that's what makes this combined with this guy so unique this guy is purely i guess putting out fires he's a search and rescue truck whereas this guy is the one that would give the firemen the ability to go up into the building so it's a really really unique approach that they took on the fire truck and that's what i'm always looking for in the hash trucks i'm always looking for something new and unique and while we've never seen and while we've had many many fire trucks in the past this one is really unique and kind of stands out especially when you take this off and it's only the second one to have a miniature vehicle the vehicle that came with the 2005 truck was just a little generic kind of jeep truck looking thing it didn't have a ladder it didn't have a hose it was just a truck and the actual truck itself was just a base truck with a with a ladder on it with a i guess i guess it had hoses on it but it was it all in itself was just one big fire truck with a little truck that came inside of it this kind of makes these things a, a necessary pair and a team to have together which i really really like about it but what i really really like about this truck is the sirens now we've had colored sirens before we had it on the 1993 police car we've had it on a couple fire trucks before i think but this one there's something about this one they just the blue and the red and the white just really there's three separate little uh i guess caps there they just pop at you they don't look like normal sirens and they look really really nice which is why i haven't seen one a fire truck like this before but i'm sure if i did i think it would was awesome and it kind of looks like an older style fire truck updated which is another really awesome thing uh Another really cool thing is you have some windshield wiper detail molded in there. It's keeping up top here, you have three things back here which are really cool. You have these two hose things and you have this light up top here. So these things up here are of course hoses where firemen would grab these handles and it's really cool because you have two nozzles on each side and then you kind of just, you can pivot this all the way up, well almost all the way up, it pretty much shoots straight up and then that's as far down as you can get it. I would really love it if these could point all the way down for like uh, non-use mode but they go up and down like that and then they do rotate they can rotate a full 360 degrees on a ratchet joint which is really cool so that they're not loose and floppy and when i have it just in i guess driving mode i like to have them facing back like that but you could i guess maybe do it like that you could have them facing in you could have them facing forward and down like that that actually looks pretty good one of the other features you have up top here is this searchlight so if i kind of get these out of the way this is a spotlight. Of course, the 2005 fire truck had two round spotlights. This one has one singular square spotlight. So this one actually comes up on a ratchet joint too, and it can rotate a full 360 degrees. But I'm actually gonna I'm not gonna rotate it that much because there's wiring inside there, so I don't want to snap anything. On the actual spotlight itself, it has some really nice rad, uh, reticle detail, which is really really cool. And then you can flip it. Well, you actually, I guess I'm trying. You can't actually rotate it a full 360 degrees. You can almost get it. Oh, yeah, you can. But it. So if you want to get it facing the other way, you can do it like that. And you can do it like that. That kind of gives it more of a down look, but there's a bigger gap in there, so I don't like that. Getting into the lights and sounds with the last feature on this truck 
in the back here, of course, this is kind of standard on. Oh, this is kind of standard on a lot of Hess trucks now. If you take this black ramp and you just kind of pull in this little tab here. You have the black ramp that comes out, and of course, when you bring that out, the flash, the flashes will go off, and it will start making uh, uh, sounds. So as long as you leave that ramp out or in the middle there, the lights and sounds will continue to go off. So that is a really cool feature there, and of course, you pull it out, and you take your little truck. It can roll up on there with those really smooth rubber tires. If we flip it around on the bottom here, you have a light switch, which has two basic functions. If you turn it on in the middle, the lights turn on, and you can see, like I mentioned before, these lights are bright. You can see my lights are on, and these headlights, you can you can totally see them. They even kind of illuminate my finger just a little bit. That's how bright these things are. You can see the Hess logo, the sirens are on. You can even see the spotlight on there, which is really bright. The tail lights there. These things are absolutely awesome. And then if you turn it on one more, you get the flashers. So turn that off. On the top here, you have four switches. One, two, three, four. Press the first one up here. You get the sirens, hit this button over here. You have a really nice kind of engine startup and then the rev of the engine, then it kind of drives away. And then this one. A really loud and powerful horn for the truck. Now these things, as bright as the lights were, the sounds are loud. These are the best sounds I have ever heard on a Hess truck. They are loud. Now the fourth button is actually kind of interesting. For as long as I can remember, the Hess trucks, the way it worked is you had one, two, three siren, three sounds for the, out of the four buttons. And then the fourth button was always a temporary flasher. But the way I always looked at it was you always had a switch in the bottom to turn on the flashers. So why would you want a fourth one? So what they actually realized that, so they gave us something else. They gave us something for this fourth button to do. So if you turn that on, the spotlight will actually turn on. And that is absolutely incredible. You have a way to just turn on the spotlight. Now in old trucks, there was like a switch in the bottom with like 10 different settings to turn on just the spotlights, the taillights, the headlights, all the lights, the flashers. With this, it simplifies it. You can turn on the lights, the flashers, and although it doesn't stay on, I really do wish there was a way to like hold it down and make it stay on. But you... All right, so here we have the fire truck with its lights on, and I actually did forget. Here is the rescue with its lights on. Now I'm gonna put this guy in the background for now, and let's just take a look at this thing. This is the color that the lights would turn on any other Hess truck when the batteries are old. Usually they'd be white, a little bit, not yellow, when you first put the batteries in, but with this truck, you put the batteries in, and these lights are just super, super dark and super yellow. I don't know if it was a money-saving thing or what the purpose was, but it just doesn't look very good, and it makes me really upset, because this, this is a nice truck. The taillights look pretty good, but this is dull, this is yellow, this is yellow, this is yellow, these are dull, and... It is also kind of just a lack of lights up here. Some sirens would have been nice up here, some red, white, and blue. So with this, I'm very, very disappointed with the lights on this thing. So we're just going to turn it off and get it out of frame because it disappoints me. Here we have the big truck with its lights on, and you can see just how bright these things are. And they illuminate so well, and as you can see the spotlight, I can move it across my board here. And that is so freaking bright. You can see the red and blue up there from the sirens. You can see the spotlight on my hand, and I turn it away. And that thing is so freaking bright. You have the Hess logos lit up here, the Hess logo fully illuminated there, the Hess logo on the hood, and just look how bright that is. And uh, look how bright the freaking headlights are. When I first opened this thing and I first turned them on with the brand new batteries, I think I tweeted about it. I said, for the first time, ever owning a Hess truck, it hurts my eyes to look at the lights. Now when I look at it, it's actually not that bad. I really do love the blue lights on the front there. That always looks really nice. I love those blues. And I love the two red lights in the bottom here. You have the Hess logo there. You have the Hess logo there with all these orange lights going across the side. Hess logo, of course, in the back, you have the really nice and bright Hess 2015 with the really nice red tail lights. And of course, you can see the white on the floor. That's from the spotlight. If I lift it up, you can just see the tail lights there. The one thing I think we're missing here is it's a little bland back here on the bed where the miniature truck rests. If this Hess logo, there, 
there I lit it up a little bit. If this Hess logo was illuminated underneath there, that would fully complete it. That would be 100% perfect. As for right now, it's about 99% perfect because these sirens up here, these look, these pop, they look fantastic. And as you can see, this thing is freaking bright. And there it is shining into the camera. It, it really, it's, I'm looking at it, it's going up to my ceiling. That's how bright it is. That's insane if you wanted to. There's one of the flashes. One thing that's really interesting about the sounds is if I put on the siren, and then for example, turn on the engine, it cuts off the siren, and same for most of them. So if I turn on the, and the horn and put on the engine, it cuts it off. I turn on the horn, turn on the sirens, it cuts it off. But if I turn on this, this is the only combination it does this. If I turn on the sirens, and then turn on the horn, they bleed into each other, so... And then if I turn off the horn, the sirens will keep going. So if you do sirens to horn, the sirens keep going, but if I just do horn to sirens, it cuts it off. But that's actually one of the first times that we've ever just had, that we've ever been, I think we've ever been able to have two sounds bleeding into each other like that. When I turn off the lights, you can see, first, the Hess logos on the hood and the doors turn off, and then everything else turns off. So it's kind of delayed. It's one, two. The Right here where these white pinstripes are across the bed, here, I'll just turn on my light real quick. Right here, it would have been really nice if we could have had some lights there to kind of break it up. If I just turn on the flashers, this is what you get. But then if I actually have the lights on and then do and then do one of the sounds, the Hess logos on the side will actually stay lit up. And if I turn off the lights... Oh, wow. That's weird. If I turn the truck off while the sounds are going... It turned off the sound. Very, very weird. Very odd technical things that this truck does that haven't happened on trucks in the past. But yeah, so if I do that and then turn that... And see, if I, even if I turn it on, it kind of cuts it off. Very odd. Very weird the way this truck does a lot. So, as a whole, I absolutely love this truck. I didn't think I was going to, but once I had it, it's one of those things where you kind of have to have it in hand, at least for me. So, alright guys, thank you very much for watching the video review of the 2015 Hess Toy Fire Truck and Ladder Rescue, and don't forget to have yourselves a great day.